Dr. J, what are, in your mind, what are the best biomarkers for all-time health? Well, I think that that's a, an astute question. What are the markers or biomarkers? What are the predictive biomarkers? I very much recommend you start with four self-assessments. Look at your digestive transit time. Look at your urine pH in the morning. Look at your hydration status. Look at these essential, um, simple self-assessments followed by eight predictive biomarkers. These eight predictive biomarkers cover all of epigenetics. They inform you about whether you are on the right track or not, because today we can interpret these eight biomarkers based on their best outcome goal values. So for example, your hemoglobin A1C should be less than 5%. Your HSCRP should be less than 0.5. Your homocysteine and plasma should be less than 6. Your lymphocyte response assay should be tolerant. Your vitamin D level should be 50 to 80. Your omega-3 index should be more than 8%. Your 8-oxoguanine, a urine test of DNA damage, should be less than 5. And then you can be assured that you're living well and healthfully. For most of us, including myself, it took some modifications and improvements in what I ate and drank, what I thought and did, what I how I lived my life. For example, restorative sleep is very important, but most people go from on to asleep. And I think you should transition for 15 or 30 minutes from doing to being, from being awake to preparing for restorative sleep so that at night, your body can send out signals that repair you, that identify any abnormal parts that need to be repaired and do repair or eliminate them. So it's very much a choice of living in harmony with your nature and in balance. <clears throat> and depending on the season of your life, the age that you are, you might want to have a different restorative pattern. For example, I used to sleep less. I now enjoy restorative sleep. What we eat and drink, what we think and do is enormously important. And now we know the eight predictive biomarkers and the four self-assessments that allow you to guide and be your own health promotion advocate. Most of us need a health coach or a physician to guide us so that we understand what the results mean. Through better lab tests now, you can be your own doctor including what the interpretation of the values is compared to best outcome values for those tests. So there's eight predictive biomarkers for lifestyle epigenetics and four self-assessments to begin.